from our perspective, addressable is incredibly important because uh, it, it makes best use of our clients' budgets. So the less wastage that we have, the better targeting ability, getting to the right people, the right message, uh, the, the, the greater the ROI. We've got all the data that proves that. And it's a work in progress. Of course, we've had this wonderful internet thing over the last couple of years where we've been doing addressable for, for quite a long time, and that's improving now with, with some of the tools like Zaxxis uh, that we have. And now that's coming to TV, and it's coming to other, uh, other media as well, with magazines going into iPads, etc. But we're not quite there yet in the sense of joining all those things up. And I think that is the holy grail when we get to the point where we know if you've seen an ad on TV, we can then target you on your mobile phone and then follow up on a tablet and a PC and attribute all that to give proper credit to, to, to the, uh, the media investment. We're not there yet. That'll happen over the next couple of years, hopefully. But uh, in, some, in some markets, a bit faster than, than others. How is the marketplace shaping out between content and addressability? Well, it's, we don't view it as binary. So from our perspective, you can have quite creative experiences with, with premium inventory on the home page of a website, for example. And at the same time, you can then also look at remnant inventory and using ways of, of leveraging data to, to, to make that valuable as well for, from a client perspective. The biggest barrier that we see on the addressable end is, is the lack of content. So all the technology is there, the data is there, all the ability to do some really clever things. It's just getting the client to invest in some more content, some more assets. If we have a couple of ad units, um, all the targeting in the world is not going to have a huge impact because we don't have different messages to put in front of different people. Uh, so it's really about creating that asset library, lots of different content that can be deployed uh, to make that addressability really resonate with, with people. The opportunities of creating richer, more stuff as far as, you know, video advertising assets. Um, where would you say we are now and where that should go? It's very nascent, I think, when you look at it. It's, uh, at the moment, a lot of just repurposing TV spots. And, you know, that's fine. There's, there's a role for migrating TVC in, into online. We know that with the targeting ability, you can, you can make it work harder. And getting the right balance, I think, is really important as well. But you also see some, some emerging trends of people doing some pretty clever stuff with content out there, whether that's a YouTube channel or branded content or five-minute clips, whatever the case may be. And it's very early days because you got a lot of that on, on you know, the PC Internet, for, if, if you will, for lack of a, a better term. But it's also now coming to mobile. And then I think the more exciting is TV. I mean, it's bizarre. I'm an old digital guy here. I'm talking about television and how fascinating that is. But when you get addressable TV, IPTV, whatever you want to call it, connected TV, smart TVs, um, it suddenly liberates content. You don't have to have a specific 30-second spot or a one-hour program. You can do some things that uh, people can, can pull, or from a push perspective, you can target certain individuals with longer form content, whatever that may be. It's very slow and it's very fragmented. And I think one of the one of the real it's like Game of Thrones. I mean, you look at it right now. It's these little fiefdoms of people across the value chain, and it reminds me a lot of the early days of the internet back in '95 and '96. There's a few of us that remember that with these little walled gardens, and that's the challenge because from our perspective, we need things that are big and scalable and easy for for our clients to really embrace and know that. Uh, there's a rigor and there's a science and a standardization behind that, and we're not quite there yet. Now, Sky Ad Smart may do that in the UK. It's pretty sizable. It hasn't officially launched yet. It'll come hopefully at some point this year. Uh, God knows what Apple's up to. So, so there are some players that are out there that are big enough that may be able to create that kind of scaled, open environment uh, that we would love to embrace. This industry is different. I think I've learned in the time I've been involved with um, BBC for the last five and a half years. It's the television advertising industry is definitely in love with advertising. 